Hey YouTube, it's the Slow Dog once again. There we go. Hey, I'm going to show you how to test your Kaiser fan uh, on your Detroit Diesel. It's a 2000 uh, Freightliner Century Series. Now, I'm, going to I'm going to show you how to to uh, test it and make sure everything's working properly. This was the old one, so I wish I'd have done this before. And I've got a new one in there, but I am going to show you how to test it real quick. Uh, to make sure everything's right and the proper function. All right, I'm up, all right. I'm up here in the cab. I got I had everything running. Got air pressure built up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my key switch on to the on position, and bells and buzzers and whistles all go off and everything, and I'm going to step back out. All right, now that we're out here on the outside, remember you got your key on, so you gotta be careful here. What this is supposed to do with the key on, send a signal up here to your solenoid, which is supposed to send air down to your fan. And should be able to turn your fan, which I can't. So that's the, uh, that's the problem is right there, we got a clutch fan bath. Cause I heard earlier the solenoid clicking and uh, when I turned the key on, have my son turn the key on so the solenoid was working properly. So I'm going to show you how, that's how you test it. All right, now once we, uh, yeah, there goes that hand again. Once we got everything done, I got the new, uh, new clutch put in. Here's the old one. Took me about two hours to do it. And that's in another video. I showed you guys how to do it. Um, how I did it real quickly it took me about two hours and now I'm gonna show you how to test it once again see if it works all right here we are back up in the truck again see we got air pressure up there that's good because we fired the truck up to get the air pressure built up what we're gonna do again we're gonna turn our key on bells and whistles go off and we're gonna step out here and remember you know this, this thing is charged, you know, it could ready to go. So what should happen if your solenoid is working right and your clutch, your fan clutch is working right, this should happen right there. You should be able to take out and spin that freely. So that's how you test it. If you do that, your air pressure build up, you turn your switch on and you can't do that, your clutch is bad. Uh, sometimes you can uh, squirt some WD-40 or something down in there and tap on it to free it up. Uh, sometimes you can't. In my case, I couldn't. With this old one over here, I uh, couldn't do it. So I went and got me a new one. Got it from a buddy. Uh, helped me out. It's 436 bucks, even with him helping me out. But they wanted $500 just to change that in two hours. And I'll show you in another video how I changed it out real quick. But that's how you test it out. So I hope this video helps you out. Uh, just be safe out there. Uh, keep on trucking. This is Slow Dog. I hope this helps everybody out. Godspeed.